It is no secret that traffic in Toronto is extremely bad. A lot of people saying that since the uh, pandemic restrictions uh, were lifted and people uh, began returning to the downtown, that it is much worse than before the pandemic. We spent the day or part of the day with a uh, cab driver who has spent 35 years patrolling and picking up fares in the city. He said it has never been this bad. Hectic, hectic, hectic. My name is Beerus Kemse. I drive taxi in the city of Toronto since 1987. All of a sudden, they put these bike lanes on University Avenue. And then they introduced this uh, side, side street cafe. I personally don't know why would people would sit on the street, you know, by the exhaust cars, you know. <laughs> Cinco is blocked. John is blocked. We create traffic, whether we want it or we don't want it. Now, a lot of cab drivers say that uh, contributing factors that are making uh, traffic worse include uh, endless construction that has closed down not only uh, entire streets, but some streets down to one lane, adding to the congestion. They also say that bike lanes, uh, which have proven to be uh, or proved to be pretty popular during the pandemic, uh, make their jobs uh, a lot harder, as as well as driving for other people, and also the presence of ride-hailing drivers. There are estimated to be either 75,000 to 80,000 uh, licensed uh, Uber or Lyft drivers in the city, adding to the overall congestion. How many Uber cars do you need in this city? Do you need 85,000 cars in downtown Toronto? Now we're at a, a very busy intersection where Jarvis uh, meets the Lakeshore and people are trying to get onto the Gardener, so it's particularly uh, congested, especially given that uh, rush hour uh, has just begun. A global uh, traffic index, which uh, annually puts out a list of the most congested cities, ranks Toronto as the 22nd most congested city. People losing, uh, on average, 74 hours sitting in traffic over the course of 2021. A lot of uh, the people that we spoke to, uh, especially the cab drivers, say it has gotten particularly bad and the city should do something about it. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Scott Laurie.